In step six of exercise number two, the following actions have to be implemented to generate G-code for the complete CAM part for use on a three-axis Haas SS. Now that the CAM part is complete and you are satisfied with the iMachining toolpath, generate G-code in preparation for cutting on the CNC machine. To output G-code for the entire CAM project, right-click the operations header in the Inventor CAM Manager and choose the Generate command from the G-Code All submenu. The generated G-Code for a 3-axis Haas SS opens in the Notepad window for viewing before it goes out to the machine. The G-Code is generated based on the parameters of the CNC controller chosen in exercise number 1, CAM part definition. Note that the G-Code file name automatically defaults to the CAM part name. Close the G-Code file by exiting Notepad. If you want to generate G-Code for a specific operation, right-click an iMachining operation in the Inventor Cam Manager and choose the Generate command from the G-Code submenu. Since only one iMachining operation was selected, Inventor Cam will prompt you to give the G-Code a file name in case you want to save it. For this example, name the G-Code file IVC IM 1. The generated G code opens again in Notepad, although this time the G code is only generated for the selected iMachining operation. Close the G code file. You also have the option to enter a split in the program in the instance that you are working with multiple setups before outputting G code. For example, if you would like the last two iMachining operations to come out as separate G-code, right-click the iRough Outside Contour operation in the CAM tree and select Split. Click OK. As you can see, a split has been inserted after the iRough Outside Contour operation. Now, when you right-click Operations, G-Code All, Generate, Two separate G-code files are displayed in two separate notepad windows. In this particular case, one G-code file handles the first iMachining operation before the split, and the other G-code file handles the last two iMachining operations after the split. Note that you are not limited to just one split. You can insert multiple splits in the CAM tree and generate multiple G-code files as necessary. At this stage, Step 6 is complete and the exercise has come to an end. Close the G-code files by exiting the Notepad windows. To close the CAM part, right-click the CAM part header in the Inventor CAM Manager and choose Close from the menu. If you have not followed along, apply and practice the procedure shown in this video to generate G-code and close the completed CAM part.